Praise the Lord. I trust that you're well. You see, I remember, I remember back in those days when we used to go out, rave, like in the video you just saw. We used to go out, rave, and try to impress the ladies. You know, try to get their attention and try to, you know, get them. But, you know, that is what we used to do. We used to be. That is what we used to be. And now that we are by the special grace of God, saved and sanctified and filled with the Holy Spirit, we no longer do those things. I know that sometimes we find it difficult, some of us as children of God, we find it difficult to be accepted, to fit in, and because of that, we tend to conform with the world, we tend to want approval from the world. And because of that, we do some of the things that we're no longer supposed to be doing as children of God. We, we dress like the world, we talk like the world, we behave like the world, we do things as the world does their things. And there's no much difference between us and the world. Let me tell you what the Bible says. I'll read that to you quickly. The Bible says in first in book of Romans chapter 12 in verse 2, it says, Do not conform. Uh, to this world, yeah, but be transformed by the renewal of your mind. You know, as a child of God now, you must no longer conform to the pattern of this world. The things that the world do, you mustn't feel as if you're missing out on them. Things like going clubbing, or things like, uh, 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 you know, doing dressing in a certain way. You know, you, you can't you can no longer do those things as a child of God. They mustn't be attractive to you any longer. The Bible said again in First Peter chapter 3, in verse 3 to 4, it says, Your beauty should not come from outward adornment, such as uh, elaborate hairstyle and wearing gold jewelry or fine clothes. Rather, it should come from your inner self, the unfading beauty of a gentle and a quiet spirit, which is of great worth in the sight of God. I'm not saying that as children of God we mustn't dress nice or we mustn't look, we mustn't look decent. As a child of God, you must look decent, you must look presentable, you must smell nice, you must look nice. But there's also going over the board, you know, trying to impress, trying to look uh, what you're not supposed to because you're trying to impress or trying to fit in. You mustn't do that. I know of some ladies who will not come out, or I've seen ladies who will not come out unless they wear makeups and they wear these wigs and they dress in certain way. I know ladies that like to dress in very short skirts and, you know, the, the difference is not really much from the world. You know, as a child of God, that shouldn't make you, that shouldn't be your basis. You know, that is, that is not why you're beautiful. Your beauty comes from... You, from within, from inner self, your inner self, and that is what is most, most um, appealing to God. Understand? So I know that people buy wigs. Some people buy wigs for thousands of pounds, and till now, still to this very moment, I can't really understand, you know, the the the, the idea behind that. The Bible says further in the book of First uh, John chapter two, in verse fifteen to seventeen. Do not love the world or the things of the world. If anybody loves the world, and the, the, the love of the Father is not in him. For all that is in the world, the desires of the flesh, the desire of the eye, and the pride of possession is not from the Father, but is from the world. And the world is passing away along with its desire. But whoever, desire, whoever does the will of God will abide forever. So as a child of God, your desire, your utmost interest must be to please God. You know, as a child of God, you must not dress seductively to church. You must not dress in a provocative way. Men, for example, when a man sees a woman dressed in a certain way, that can cause them to sin. The Bible says that, uh, that if you think about a man, if you lost about a woman in your heart, or if you lost about a man in your heart, you've already committed adultery or fornication with that person so when a woman or a man dress seductively to another fellow brother or sister then you are you know you could be causing them to sin even in their mind without actually in engaging in that act of sin so we must be careful as children of god that we don't cause our fellow brothers 
or our fellow sisters to sin because of how we're dressing. You know, you mustn't, you know, the thing is, you must not try to impress people by the, and you feel as if you don't dress in certain way or look in certain uh, way, then you are not acceptable, you don't, you don't fit in. No, you must, you must believe and understand that God accepts you as you are. God loves you as you are. Once you say yes to Jesus Christ, he begins the process of transformation and your beauty now grows from within. The Bible says in Colossians chapter 3 in verse 2, set your mind on things above, not on things of this world. So your mind should be for things of God, not things of this world. Okay, so I, I, I appeal to all of us as children of God that we must desire the things of God more than the things of this world. Don't try to impress people. Don't try to, you know, don't try to overly do things. Be moderate in your dressing. As a child of God, we are supposed to look nice. We are supposed to look decent. We are supposed to look presentable. But we must do it moderately. Not overly over the board. Not doing it too much to the point of we are causing our fellow brothers and sisters to sin. And I pray that God will give us all understanding and help us to live for Him. You know, the Bible says, just before I leave, in the book of First Thessalonians 5, in verse 23, like that, I think, it says, you know, the spirit of the spirit, uh, the God of peace, you know, will keep us blameless, spirit, soul, and body. So God is interested in your body, not just your soul. He's also interested in your body, your spirit, and your soul. The body is the temple of God, is the temple of the Holy Spirit. So you must keep it decent, you must keep it pure, you must keep it nice. Don't go and change your body for any reason as a child of God. You must not begin to uh, bleach yourself or anything like that. Okay? And as you do this, the Lord will bless you. Have a great day. Bye bye.